to go to school to see and I'm back with another video. I don't give my pussy, I make niggas eat it. Nasty hood niggas, my type like I'm sweetie. I never come through, he be begging to see me. I need too much me time, he think I'm conceited. I, I like to get my shit A from the back. I like how he look with his face in my ass. I grab his head and start throwing it back. Now he stay on my line, had to tell him relax. I'm from the south, so you know this is homegrown. I'm trying to get sucked like a snow cone. Blacking my hoes when I won't, cause they gon' find a way. They keep calling me un- Yup, and like I said, I was gonna be staying consistent videos big to big to big to big to big to big to big. Ignore my hair because I'm getting my hair did Friday, and y'all come with me. So, the link to that video because that video is gonna be posted before this video. So, the link to that video will be in the description box below. A company sent me a wig and they wanted me to promote that, so I will be doing that. But enough of that, that's not what this video is about. If you clicked on this video, then you saw that today, you saw that today we're going to be packaging orders period so go ahead and place your order at exclusive extensions.com the link today will be in the description about box below as well so period we just had a sale if you missed it that's y'all fault because i told y'all about it in my other video if you didn't watch my other video then you missed the sale and that's not my problem but it's okay because we're gonna have a black friday sale december 1st so yes we just had a sale and I got obsessive amount of orders. I got 10 left to fulfill. I think actually, no, I have nine left to fulfill. So I was just like, hey, let me just take the time out and show my subscribers how I package their orders. Cause I'm pretty sure some of y'all order. Cause I got a lot of orders from Florida, Arkansas, Yes, I got a lot of orders to ship. So, period. I'm going to show y'all some of my business essentials. If y'all want to know where I got them from, I will make a video for that. So, comment down below. But I'm going to just show y'all some of them. I'm not going to tell y'all where I got them from. And I'm not going to let y'all love about my box. I'm not going to tell y'all where I got my boxes. I'm not going to tell y'all nothing until y'all comment down below. And y'all got to get this video to 5,000 views if y'all want to know. So... Enough talking. So this. first thing first, this order is already prepped up and ready, but I'm going to redo it and stuff so y'all can see. But this, I have my boxes. I'm currently, I ran out of boxes. I have only five boxes and I have nine orders. So four orders are not going to get boxes. That's okay though, because I do have some pink poly millers that I'm going to be substituting. Instead... Here's all my orders. These are all my orders. I have five weeks in total. I have two more actually coming. And then I have three, a four, a four bundle order. Somebody ordered four bundles. So yeah. So next we're gonna come over to here. This is my organizing drawer or whatever. This is where I keep my lashes. So lashes is free. With every order, they're 25 millimeters, so I keep all of my free lashes in here. Here goes the poly millers that I'm going to be having to use. Here goes my tissue paper. Um, I don't use this tissue paper. This was just some birthday paper that I have left over. But I do. You, I would use it if I, you know, needed to use it. But this is just something I had left over, so I just put it in here. Cause, yeah. But I use my pink tissue paper. The next drawer that we have right here is my drawer where my bonnets are. If you spend $300 or more, you get a free bonnet with your order. So these are my bonnets. In this drawer right here, nothing important. This drawer, nothing important. This drawer is for my elastic bands, but they're not in here. They're actually in this. Oops. They're actually in this bag. So if you spend 150 or more, you get an elastic band. So I'm probably gonna be using all of these today. So put them right here. Then I have, oops, can't show y'all where I got my thank you cards. And so y'all comment below. But these are my thank you cards. And these are my business cards. This font wasn't readable. This font wasn't very readable. So I just ordered some more and I'm gonna show y'all them stay right here. And then also, these come free with my orders as well. And then edge brushes come free with my orders, but they're in a bucket, so yes. Okay, y'all, so I basically just showed y'all everything that I have, two package 
my orders and i just noticed that my edge brushes are actually not in my bucket they're at home at my mom's house so i'm gonna have to run to the dollar i mean not the dollar store i'm gonna have to run to the beauty supply and go get um a couple edge brushes because the rest of them are at my mom's house because i get all my orders sent there i don't know why but that's why i got my stuff sent well that's what amazon's um set up so it just automatically sends all my stuff to my mom's house so unless i just actually remember to go in and correct it and send it to my house but yeah, enough with the talking. We're gonna go ahead and package these orders. And if you see your order, make sure you comment down below. All right, y'all, so we're back. Okay, so now we're sitting on the floor. I normally don't package orders on the floor, but this is the first time I got a obsessive amount. So I have to pack on the floor, so y'all can see everything. I have my label printer right here. And I'm just gonna connect it to my MacBook. So here's got my MacBook right here. Um, I use the platform Shopify for my website. So here, all the yellow is all my unfilled orders, unfulfilled orders. Here is remember I told y'all I got new font for my business cards. So these are my business cards. They just delivered today. And then I also got my scale so I can weigh my orders, so I can pay the correct amount for shipping and not have to be pay no fees because I lied about my shipping because you over here assuming. Yeah, when I was creating my prices, y'all, I just assumed that these bundles and these boxes would automatically be 20 pounds. Like, I don't know why I thought that. So I always, when I kept on trying to figure out my prices, I kept on saying 20 pounds. So it was like, shipping was going to be $23. I was like... Dang, that's gonna be some high shipping for them. But come to find out, these boxes normally, with the hair, normally weigh about two pounds, literally. I think the highest I've had is three pounds. So two to three pounds, which makes shipping like $8, maybe. And then um, I add signatures so I can make sure that all of my customers get their orders. I don't need to hear no, oh, I didn't get my order. You signed for it. Somebody signed for it, which I don't know. You got it. So pretty much, yeah. So here goes my MacBook right here with my label printer. That's why I'm gonna put that at right there. And then I'm gonna put my scale right here. And let's, okay, so in, here is my paper. I have a big box. If you order this printer, I'm gonna tell y'all where I ordered it from, comment down below. But if you order this printer, it comes with these papers already in there. It comes with some of them already in there. Yeah, it comes with some of them already in there, but I also ordered me a hundred of them. But I haven't got to the point where I have to open them. But it comes with like 25 of these. I think I have like 10 left. But here we go right here. So, first thing first, I'm going to talk for the first one. And then I'm going to just fast up the clip. And y'all just going to pack with me. But the first thing that I do is build my box right here. So first thing I do is build my box. This is what my box looks like. I have my picture right here where we took our photo shoot. Then I have my brand name up here, my brand name right here, the brand name right here. And then on the side, just two glitters. On the side, once again, if you wanna know where I got my boxes from, comment down below so y'all can see my business essentials, where I got them from, how much, and how I include my own um, business essentials inside of my parts for my bundle so that I can get a profit and also use the money to buy business essentials again. So like I said, comment down below or get this video down up to 6,000 views. All right, y'all, anyways, I'm looking real right here. I really feel some type of worry about making this video, but I wasn't gonna wait till I get my hair done to ship my people orders and I wanted y'all to see the orders now. So I had to, I had to do what I had to do for y'all and for them. But anyway, so next thing we're going to do is take our tissue paper and I normally put, I put about three of them in there and I'll make sure to separate it because if you put them in there all together, it don't look right. It don't give you a face. So take out three and I push these in there. And the first thing that I'm going to um, go ahead and package is going to be my um, bundles because I want to show y'all how I package them because I have to take off my vendor's tag and I have to apply my tag and then I have to re-put them inside of the plastic before I ship it off to my customers. So, yeah, let me go get that. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, y'all. So, 
like I said, I'm gonna show y'all how I package my bundles. So this customer ordered. Okay, I'm sorry about y'all. I'm sorry about that, y'all. This customer paid with PayPal, so I had to make sure everything was good. That's why the video kind of stopped. So yeah, this customer paid. I mean, this customer ordered a 26, a 28, a 28, and a 30 inch bundle. So here, here is my customer's order. Here's what they ordered. At the bottom, you can see the shipping. They paid $11.99 for shipping, which is economy. My economy shipping is three to five days, and my express shipping which is $15.99, and that is one to three days. So next, after seeing my order, who my order goes to, making sure that they pay and confirm, all I have to do is see that it says unfulfilled, and their order number is 1037. So next thing I do is to make sure I have their order, which is 26. We have the 26 inch. So after that, now it's time for me to get it out of my vendor's packaging and get it into the exclusive extensions packaging. First thing, first thing we do is go ahead and detach my vendor's tags and add my tags. My tags on the front, you have the length, the color, and the texture of the bundle. And at the bottom, my social media is on top, our logo. And then on the back, you have hair care tips, uh, hair care tips also ways um, to become a brand ambassador if you want to become a brand ambassador I let everyone know that they have the opportunity to become a brand ambassador and at the bottom you have the um, our email so that you can get in contact with us if you have any problems with your order so that's what I have on my bundle tag so enough with the talking well I keep on saying enough with the talking and still talking but I told you I was going to talk for the first order and then I'm done talking so after I get my bundle test, next thing I do is go ahead and take these stickers and fill in the blanks. So after getting um the blanks wrote out, my handwriting is so sloppy, but um I'm about to um actually print them out so that I can put stickers here. So I'm gonna print out 12 inch. I'm gonna print out natural eventually, but for the sake of this video today, we're doing these so next i just go ahead and stick the stickers on the um bundle tag in the place that they go all right y'all so i added the stickers to the bundle tags and next i'm gonna take my hole puncher and i'm gonna punch a hole into all of them I only add bundle tags to my bundles. I don't add these tags to my own um, wigs because my wigs have nothing on there that says anything about my vendor, nothing. It just says the inches and a barcode on there that my vendor scans so that they can price me or whatever like that. But it doesn't say my vendor's name or nothing like that on there. So I don't have to worry about this or nothing. And gladly only have one order with bundles. So I only have to do this one time. So next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove my vendors packaging off of here so this is the 28 inch so i have my 28 inch tag we're going to remove that then i'm going to cut my vendors oops i'm going to cut my vendors tag off okay and here is the straight bundle this is the 28 inch bundle. Link to these bundles will be in the description below. So yes, we cut off the tag. And next thing you're going to do is take the bundle tag. I use this string, but I'm actually investing into a different type of string because I just used this. Um, when I first started packaging orders, I had to you know, hurry up and get a, a type of string. So I just grabbed this string from Walmart and Actually, I've been using it and I don't like this string, so I'm going to be getting another string, but this is the string that I use for now to tie my bundles and my bundle tag together. I'm actually thinking of getting ribbon instead. Comment down below if y'all think I should get ribbon bows. Okay, so take this, I'll stick it in the hole, obviously. And then I just find a piece on the track on the bundle where I can just 
slide it in without messing up the bundle in any type of way. And next, I'm just going to tie on there. And I don't want my bundle tag to be hanging all the way to the end of the bundle and I don't want it to be too loose. So I just basically figure out how I want it. And then my second tie, that's the reason I don't like these these um rows because you have to tie multiple times in order for it to stay tied or else it'll unravel. So my first tie is where I basically tie where I want the um bundle tag to be. The second tie is solidifies it because as you can see, it's not moving. The first time it kept on, you saw me tightening and untightening. So the second time solidifies it. The third time confirms it and the fourth time makes it super tight or whatever. So then we just cut off the excess. I take this knot and I'm just going to stick the knot behind the track so that my customer doesn't see it because that's unprofessional. So, boom, this is how my bundles look after I have completed, I have turned it from my vendor into an exclusive extension with the haircut tip on the back. So then after that, after that, I take the packaging, put the bundle back inside of the package, and then my vendor head. Take the rubber band to keep because my vendor doesn't um tape the bottom of the um straight hair so that it, when the straight hair comes out it stays straight and don't have a little wave to it. So we use rubber bands at the top to keep the bundle from sliding out. And there we go. So I'm about to go ahead and do that for the rest of these. Okay, y'all, so I have finished putting the tags on my bundles. I put them in the packages, but I wanted y'all to see my bundles real quick with the tags on them. So these are exclusive extensions, a very thick, silky straight, and look at the ends, a very full. So once I have all of my bundles in the packages, I then put them all together the rubber band and I put them all together like a bouquet. So here's how I finish the order. Oh, what's going on over here? All right, guys. So here is the complete. So next thing we do is just fold it up and place it in the box. Make sure y'all can see the box. So we place it into the box. Next thing, it comes with a thank you card. So I place that on top. Comes with a wig cap. Comes with an edge brush. I only have um, two right now and then um, I have to go get some more from the beauty supply, so yeah. Here goes the edge brush. Here goes my business card, and I'm actually going to use my new business card so that they can read them more. Here goes my elastic band. She actually spent a total of $395 with me, so she gets an elastic band in. She gets an elastic band in an exclusive bonnet. And also, these can be purchased separately. Bonnets eight are the bonnets are twelve dollars and last events are eight dollars. So yes, she spent three hundred dollars or more, so she get a free bonnet. Plus her bonnet in there and twenty five millimeter lashes. We don't. I just closed it. Now I'm not gonna. I'm gonna print all my shipping labels at the end so that I don't have to keep on tearing the paper and they can just all print. So what I'm now going to do is write her order number on the top. Her order number is 1037, I believe. So the next thing I do is just write her order number on the top, which is 1037. And we're gonna All right, 
y'all. So we have finished fulfilling the orders and now it's time to print our shipping labels so that my customers can get their little notifications. They're saying that order is finna be shipped. And then tomorrow, cause in the morning, I'm probably finna run to the um, beauty supply so I can get some um, edge brushes to put into my orders. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna end up taking them to UPS, but I'm just gonna print my shipping label so tomorrow I can just drop the edge brushes in there and take them straight to um, UPS. And uh, my shipping, I, I mean, it normally takes them like one to two to three days to really deliver the person's, um, my customer's orders. So yeah. I have to get them shipped out today because some of my customers, two people in Florida birthday, one was on November 5th and one November 7th, and they ordered hair for their birthday, so they asked me to have their hair there for their birthday, and I said I was going to do that, so. Hmm. So, shipping is really easy, like, it is not hard at all. For the simple fact, Shopify, literally on the order, it just says create shipping label. I click that, and baby, it's printed. I don't have to pay shipping until the end of the month. Place the box on here until my scale stops. So this is saying that it weighs one. I, I put on there 1.13 pounds. That's what I put when I type it on there. And it's going to make, like I said, my stuff don't weigh no more than two or three pounds. So it's going to basically say it weighs two pounds. So I'm going to put 1.13 pounds into my thing. So when it says total weight, 1.3, oops, not 23. We're gonna put 1.13. And since I have Shopify Premium, it shows all the, the best rates that I can ship with. Um, according to this client, this customer, this customer, um, she used, I believe, her P.O. box for her, so she can't um ship UPS. I can't ship UPS. I normally ship UPS, but I normally ship UPS, but due to um UPS not being an option at the bottom, I have to ship you. USPS. So the package weighs 113. Okay, 13 is how much my package weighs. At the bottom shows all the options um, and how long it's going to take. So I charge $11.99 for economy shipping and it charges $887. But and, um, it shows you the Shopify discount. I got a $298 discount. Um, I also do signature required, so that's why I'm, it says eleven seventy seven right here, and that's how much I charge. So my shipping that y'all pay automatically covers this, and I'm going to be shipping it Thursday, which is tomorrow. I'm gonna print the label today, but I'm shipping tomorrow, and it's gonna take two days to arrive to my customer. So that's what I do, and then you're just going to click this green button, which if my computer lot um, loads, it would say pay for shipping label. My um, then my um computer automatically pays. I mean my um account automatically pays for the shipping label, and it also shows my customers. It also shows my customer tracking, so I can copy and paste it and send it to my customer. Shows my customer order and shows everything that I basically paid for. And here we go. And like I said, they're gonna charge me at the end of the month. Right here it says print shipping label. You're going to um click on that and all right, y'all. So let me go ahead and put my stickers. And at the bottom, it shows the order number. So and I wrote the order numbers on top so I don't get stickers confused. So my first one we have order 10. 29, I take the sticker, place it on top, throw it to the side. This order 1037 was my first order. For some reason, the sticker is not printing, so I have to try to print that later. So I'm just gonna put this one on the side. This is one of my pickup orders. So I'm gonna put that on the side. And then we have these three. So order 1027. So this is what I do. I take it and I put it directly here in the middle so that this white part right here can basically take the bottom closed. And then this top can take the top closed. It shows my name up here, the pounds, and this is able for UPS so that they can scan it.
much y'all so that completes this video make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe so you can be an exclusive babe and if you are already a subscriber welcome back exclusive babes and make sure you put your order in the link to my hair page and my um website will be in the description box below so make sure you order with us and um comment your order number below so that we can package your order next time here are my packages that is shipping out today. So if you're watching this video and you did order with us, make sure you check your tracking, your shipping tag us, and peace. I'm out. Mm -hmm.